So hey everybody, we are going into round number two now. Our matchup is going to be one Linko and CLS Louis Starcraft, Louis, Louis SC, something like that. It's going to be a Louis Terran versus C? Zerg. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have to decide that before I do the announcer voice. Yep, but you're not. Maybe gonna I'll have... say it. I'll say it three different ways <laughs> if this is a best of three. You're not going to have a whole lot of time though because we're going to be on Lost Temple, spawning at the right side. We have our pink Zerg. He is. CLS Lewis C. Lewis C. Lewis C. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll accept that one. You can go with that. So spawning on the left side, it is going to be cross positions. Our yellow Terran, his name is one Linko. Low. So Lewis C. I have to remember Lewis C for this match. Lewis C. Lewis C. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've never asked him. Perhaps we can ask <laughs> in between before the next match. Yep. So speaking as a Zerg player myself, I would say this is the worst possible map I could get versus a Terran, but probably the best possible positions. Eh, Steps of War might be worse. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. It, it really depends on how you play Zerg. Obviously, macro Zergs are going to favor this over Steps of War. But maybe some other more aggressive Zergs, aka WZP, would f much favor Steps of War over this. Actually, I think maybe I'll try to message the uh, the person from NESC2 or NESC2, yeah, and uh, try to update this match pool. Okay. What? Well. Right now we do have Linko just going for that early gas. Getting the barracks up at the front. Not a complete wall off right yet. He did get the supply depot actually at next to his geyser. He will be able to wall off no matter what at the beginning before any kind of rush. If it was a six pull of course it would make it inside. But you typically don't see that at the high levels. Instead we just have an aggressive build here from Louis. Louis. Louis C. Louis C. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, but we do have Lewis going for the hatch first then a pull afterwards no gas quite yet which means he's gonna be able to get those two Queens out I'm gonna go for that aggressive macro style maybe get a few spine crawlers down at the front which is usually a good idea on this map drops are gonna happen much later and you have to worry about those aggressive early pushes from uh, Terran looks like the drone does get take down taken down inside the base of one Linko so that's going to end any scouting, and the SCV for Linko is actually on the way, as we are experiencing a little bit of lag and stopping and stuttering and second, please. So, Lewis having a little bit of trouble. So we are going to be paused. Alt tabbing out. Hang up on Thunder Toss by accident. <laughs> and what was that? Me trying to minimize the conversation and instead hanging up on you. Impressive, okay. So here we go, Linko coming in for the scout, seeing the quick hatchery. Not much he can do about it right now since it is about to pop. And the pull already up, so our first four lings already on the way. Louis, another one of these players that likes to go for the initial four lings rather than just two. So he's able to scout with two, and then hold these zenlogs at the same time. Already going to go down, put down that spine crawler. The SCV looks like it does get trapped and taken out very quickly. And going to go out for a scout with just one ling. Might want to take those zenlogs. There go the other three lings in two. And Linko going to go for a fast expansion. Pretty safe to do so. Usually a good idea on this map. He is going to be able to get a few bunkers up the front and try to defend there. And it's pretty much going to force Louis to try to go for another base. Just noticing it is Old Lost Temple and not Shatter Temple. This is the map pool of the tournament. Nothing we can do about it. I don't think Louis is very happy about that with the S face. So, not sure what either player is going to do here. I'm sure Louis is going to have to go first. 
aspire pretty soon. Right now he is getting his second gas up, starting to saturate his expansion. Just droning up still. I'm gonna go for metabolic boost. So most likely he will start his lair once he has the gas. Currently not putting his drones on the gas, as he may want to. A little bit oversaturated here on the main. Harvester counts between our two players, 22 to 24. 23 apiece now, so staying very close. And it looks like Linko could go for an aggressive first attack here, as he is getting a very quick stem for concussive shells or anything else. A little surprising he actually got those Marauders out. I guess just in case he did scout roaches, he'd be able to take those down a little easier. And getting four racks up. So going to be a lot of marines here. Nothing but lings on the way right now for Louie. Going to have that second spine crawler pop up very soon. Hopefully going to spawn larva on that hatchery. And already starting to spread that creep very nicely. Actually using both of the queen's energies for those double creep tumors. So he will be able to spread across the map. Both towards his next expansion, which would normally be at the gold on this map. Uh, sometimes you can't hide it at the bottom position. A little harder to defend there, obviously, especially if Terran does a slow push with tanks in the future. So, might want to push out to those rocks soon. He is going to actually fall behind economically very soon if he doesn't do something. Not really sending any drones down to that expansion. Still way undersaturated. And now starting to fall behind on harvesters. So, 33 to 28. And we do have that expansion lifting up for Linko. He is going to float it over to the other base. Already moving his army down, might get a few bunkers up at the front to defend. I think a very solid Terran player. Okay, I am back now after trying to get those uh, map issues resolved. So I think they should get updated. Unfortunately, that a little bit too late for some of the players who got eliminated, but... What, as far as the older maps? Gonna try to change it yeah. over to Shattered Temple? Yeah, and get rid of... Um, Steps and blistering sounds probably. I'm sure a lot of the players, probably most of the players, would appreciate that. Yeah. Except for the ones that got knocked out of, of course. Well, they'll be upset, but uh. You know. <laughs> Not much you can do. Well, we it's do. It's the have best thing I can do for the rest of the players, still know. First Banelings morphing in right now. As we do see Linko pushing up, is he going to keep pushing? I doubt it. Yeah, wants to get off that creep as soon as possible. We do see Louie did get his lair. Has not got centrifugal hooks, so these are going to be the slower version of the Banshees. Already splitting that army out, expecting an attack, and going to get a bunker at the front. And might leapfrog these forward. Yeah, Linko is actually known for his uh, mass bunker kind of style. And he's actually going to be content with pretty much bunker containing uh, the Zerg opponent, perhaps. Saw him a long time ago when he was back in practicing with Minigun. Just doing a really aggressive bunker contain on this map. Um, getting siege tanks to follow it up. And then just expanding off of it and starving his opponent up. One of the people in the chat noticing that I actually had... Louie marked as Protoss, and of course he's actually Zerg. It would be a little hard to get that creep down as Protoss, and it wouldn't really be that beneficial. Louie is getting a lot more Banelings, 12 more Banelings. He already has quite a few out. Bro so Colossi, just saying. Yep. So he actually may be considering moving out here. He just morphed a, another set of Banelings. Um, which makes me think that maybe he's just trying to try to bust this um, before the contain gets too strong and siege tanks are able to back it up. We do see a siege tank on the way, um, as well as a couple of medevacs. And here comes the, the first siege tank. Yep, once the siege tank's there, it's going to be significantly harder to push on this, especially if the banelings do stay together. Looks like he's just content to stay uh, in his base here. He's getting a pretty big army. Really skipping on drones. He's fallen behind still, 52 to 46, and getting nothing but roaches to try to break this. Roach is definitely going to be a good choice. Good idea. I think he may just be waiting for Glad Reconstitution, the roach speed upgrade, and his Baneling speed upgrade to finish. Oh, almost Fair all point. the Banelings going against that tank there, but he still has plenty left. Another tank moving up. Going to siege up. Try to do some fire on the spine crawlers, and he is in range. 
So are we gonna bite? I think he's just waiting I think as long he's as gonna possible. wait. He does have uh, that banding speed about to finish now. Also, eight more roaches, twelve more roaches popping. Um, and right now, there's only one siege tank, not enough to one shot anything. So those banlings will be able to get close enough. But right now, is here, time. here he goes. He's moving forward, gonna be able to pick off some of these marines. Banlings coming in, rolling through that bio army. Are they gonna be able to take down this bunker as well? Nice yep. explosion off the marines. Lots of roaches out now. And really doing an excellent job controlling those banelings, kind of individually, making sure they go on the marines. Don't get wasted against the other buildings. And now has a ton of roaches, is going to do a counterattack, and way up on supply, 112 to 76. And not a whole lot left at home for Linko. Two bunkers going to be all he has to defend here, and a handful of marines. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold as the roaches are coming in. Marines out in front, forced to stem back, losing a lot of them in the process. The Here he goes, going surrounding through. that bunker so that it can't really be repaired. There he goes, two-shotting it, essentially taking care of the SCB, trying to repair it, going after the second bunker now. Could even break that down if he wants, but going straight to the main here. One Marauder is on the top of the ramp. Couldn't be able to take off one or two of these roaches, perhaps. SCB's trapping him on the ramp right now, and the Marines actually jumping out of the bunker for a second, but jumping back in. And a lot of reinforcements here. Banelink's being morphed maybe to take down this bunker so he's going to be safe against the rest of the attack. Maybe go against the SCVs. A lot of SCVs dying already. Now 46 to 31. Supply about double for Louis at the moment. A complete take, wall take off here. Down from... in so he has those roaches on the high ground which means that Siege Tank's not going to be able to save him from this. Wall broken down. Here come the Banelink's. Going for the bunker. Maybe now going for the mineral line as well. Couple still yep. left there. Ling's going into the SCV line. There goes the handling on the SCVs. He is a very, very low harvester. He did try to sneak that 6 o'clock natural, but there is a drone there scouting it out. Not going to be able to use it at all. He had to go into the main. And this may be GG. There's a lot of units staying right outside the production facilities of the Terran, and there is the GG. 1 0 for Linko in this best of three.